Hi, and welcome everyone. This is another scenario for a lower limb trauma, Viper. Ahmed, are you ready? Yeah. Great. You're the consultant on call and your registrar calls you because um, he has a case to discuss. It's a 73-year-old lady who tripped and fell at home and was rushed to the A&E. They obtained an x-ray um, and he has showed it to you. Have a look and let me know what you think. Um, so I can see a pelvis AP radiograph um, uh, showing um, right extracapsular um, unstable um, fracture of the neck of the femur. Um, it's most likely to be of the reversed obliquity um, uh, pattern. Uh, in order to be able to know more details about the, the configuration of fracture, I need a lateral view, I need um, knee x-rays and a whole um, femur. I would go to see the patient. I want to know more about her uh, past medical history, the exact mechanism, um, how she fell, uh, her, um, the pre-fall mobility status, her um, home situation. Uh, I want to do an abbreviated mental testing um, um, score before I can decide on, uh, on further management. So she uh, is a type 2 diabetes on oral uh, hypoglycemic drugs, known chronic kidney disease, hypertensive on pills, lives on, on her own, lives in a flat um, in the first floor, tripped and fell, doesn't remember how, but assumes that she tripped over the rug, um, lives on her own, walks independently with no more than a stick. How would you like to manage the patient? Um, so the initial management in A&E would involve uh, first um, doing my routine preoperative work, uh, getting a chest x-ray and ECG, and I would assume the patient is uncomfortable, so I'll do a fascia iliac block to try to relieve the pain and minimize on her um, analgesia in taking that um, old age. Um, I will go and talk to the patient uh, that this is an unstable fracture pattern that needs uh, an operative fixation and this is in her best interest. Um, um, in terms of the fixation device, I uh, am more inclined to use an intramedullary fixation device as opposed to a surface fixation with DHS. We know from multiple studies that this is uh, biomechanically more uh, superior to the, um, to the DHS in terms of resist resisting... When would you plan to operate on her? So ideally, according to the NICE guidelines for the best practice tariff, I need to operate. I need to get her admitted on the ward within four hours. I want to operate in her. I'm aiming to operate um, unless there is a medical reason uh, within 36 um, hours. Uh, she used to have to be reviewed uh, preoperatively and postoperatively on the ward uh, by ortho geriatrician. Okay, good. It seems that you know that. Um, patients on table, you're the operating surgeon. Uh, talk me through the steps of the operation. Um, I'll put her obviously in a reduction table first uh, um, to try to reduce the fracture to restore the length. Um, I'm aware of the deformities which act at the proximal fragment, and this is mainly the iliosaurus trying to flex the proximal fragment uh, and, and the abductors um, attached to the greater trochanter abducting the proximal fragment. Um, uh, I'd be lucky if I can get that reduced um, closed, so um, I imagine that I might have to, um, to open if it doesn't. And this will involve um, um, reducing the fracture by hair growths and uh, placing some cable wires if I need to. Um, depending on the uh, on the design of the nail I'm using, uh, it could be either a trochanteric entry or a pine form fossa entry. Um, I w um, personally, I would use a long nail. I'm aware that uh, some of the people would use a short uh, nail, but for this type of fracture, why, why do some surgeons use short nails? Um, it's a relatively quicker uh, procedure. Um, you, can do, you can do it without um, reaming. Um, however, there is uh, an incidence of um, a stress riser at the tip of the nail, which might end up with that fracture. Um, and this fracture is extending to the subsequent area region, so I would imagine a longer nail would be more stable. However, I'm aware that because of the radius of the curvature, the mismatch between the radius of the curvature of the nail and the femoral bow, I have to be very cautious, otherwise I might enter in the Brilliant. Than You're absolutely correct. And if there's one thing that you need to make sure it doesn't happen, what would that be? Um, uh, shortening uh, varus, I need to restore the, uh, the neck shaft angle. Um, would you chase fixing the lesser to canter? Uh, no, not, not particularly, and there's no evidence to support that uh, the fixation of the less trochanter will add any, uh, any benefit to, to the patient, uh, so I won't particularly chase fixing the less trochanter. Okay. 
Um, given the relatively poor bone quality of the patient, as I can see from the x-rays, would you wait, bear, would you wait bear her immediately post-optably? Again, this is a very controversial topic, uh, and I would start with touch weight bearing immediately post-operative. Okay, great. Time's up. Thank you, Ahmed. How do you think this went? Uh, I think it went okay in terms of the, uh, of the initial management. I wasn't quite sure what you meant when it came to the point uh, you asked about what's the uh, thing that you, you're mainly concerned about, so I, wasn't, um, so I hesitated for a bit in that um, uh, that bit, but um, I think the rest of it went uh, relatively okay. I agree. Um, you absolutely got it right. It's the various deformity. This is the most important thing that shouldn't happen uh, when when you're dealing with those pattern of fractures. Um, um, I think the only thing to to be more objective um, is uh, initially you should have stated it flat out to the examiner to make sure that it's clear that you know the Bose guidelines and ice guidelines. You, you kind of got back on track when, when, when there was a little bit of prompting as to when are you going to operate, and then you stated all the, the, the things that, that need to be taken into consideration according to the NICE guidelines. But it's always good practice when there's something that, uh, uh, like the NICE guidelines for fractures, necrofemur, or the Bose guidelines, to mention them flat out from the beginning to the examiner uh, to make sure that, you've, that you've, you've, you've showed him that you know it. Yeah. Walid, any comments? Yes, I totally agree with you. That's, that's the only thing I would have done differently is that instead of uh, going through all these details on the history and the examination, I would have just said I would follow uh, the NICE guidelines and uh, I would have started stating them. And then I would have expected the examiner to tell me, stop, now you're in theaters or how would you fix it? Uh, yeah. That would have maybe saved time, but you eventually did mention it. And you eventually went till the end of the viva. You discussed you, all the controversies uh, around the fixation. So I think you ended up in the same result. But um, I think just for, for everyone watching this, a more sort of secure way to reach that end result is to mention the guidelines. I agree. Yeah. All right, great. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. So these are the best uh, practice tariff criteria. Um, most of the people who are doing the uh, FRCS from the UK are aware of it. If you're one of the international candidates, you might not be aware of it. Um, so I suggest you have a read through it. Uh, this is um, the Norwegian hip uh, fracture register and they uh, reviewed 2,716 patients who had either a sliding hip screw or an IM nail, and the revision rate with the uh, sliding hip screw or the DHS was double that of the uh, IM nail. So that's a very uh, important one to know. And I think if you quote that in the exam, you are also looking uh, for an eight. Um, this is a randomized controlled trial looking at, um, not sure if it was randomized though, I think. Um, no, I don't think it was randomized but it's looking at short nails uh, versus long nails. And it did find that the uh, long nails have a higher incidence of fracture uh, near the tip. Okay, we'll put a link for these uh, studies in the description of the video. Thank you.